Good evening, everyone. Hope you're doing well. Welcome to the stream. I am already off to a fantastic start right before the stream is supposed to start. Uh, my game uh, crashed, so let's see if we can actually make it go. Let me uh, let me load it back up here. Hopefully, we'll have a game going in no time. How is everyone? I hope you're doing well. Hope you've had a great Thursday. It's been a good time here. I'm officially on summer break, so is my daughter, so uh, most days are us trying to figure out ways to creatively fill an entire afternoon without strictly looking at our screens all afternoon. And I'll be honest, some days are more successful than others, but today was a decent day, so I'm pretty happy with that. I hope everybody out there is doing well. Good to see you, Pickled Dog. Good to see everybody else that's out in chat. I am looking forward to jumping back into uh sherlock holmes here assuming we can get it working <laughs> pickle dog could just be you here i did start a little bit early tonight i got a little bit of a uh early bedtime going for uh for the kids so i was able to jump into the game a few minutes early let's see if i can make the game run and make it show up here on yon stream so if i just punch this button I have a feeling it'll appear in like three, two. Yeah, there we go. Oh, look, it's nice and scrunched up, all weird. Okay, let's see here. Bloop. There we go. Now things are flawless. We've got a perfect Sherlock Holmes situation going on. So I'm ready to jump back in. I, you know, it's been like three or four days since I've played this, and I've completely forgotten where we were at in this murder mystery that we were working on. I know that there was a stolen painting and we found a dead artist that we were disguised to look exactly like. And we've also discovered there seems to be some sort of secret society here in Cordona um, where there's uh, like Satan cosplay and things like that. So who knows where this wacky story is going next. But I say we find out. All right, make it happen. We just wrapped up the murdered artist, sounds right to me too. <laughs> While again, wearing an exact replica of his clothing. We shop at the same place he shops. All right. Press any button to continue. Okay, here we are. So yes, John, our uh, imaginary friend, not Watson, just a John, not the John, has drawn this uh, pregnant girl that we found in, I think, one of the photos. Let's look at our casebook so we can refresh our memory. Yes, a photograph at Mercurio's place. That's Mercurio on the floor. Pregnant woman with tribal scars on her face. So I realized this. I was looking this up the other day. Apparently, your relationship with John changes based on how you play the game. And I think that this sketch of him looks angrier or happier accordingly. So if you're making bad decisions, uh, according to this uh, game guide that I read, <laughs> John gets angrier and affects like how the game ends. So thank goodness that I uh, have been, uh, been nice to John for the most part. Let's see here. So let's remind ourselves we have the push pin and the people. So how to play a push pin, inquire with people around you and pin this evidence. Got it. Okay. So we pin this evidence and now we want to talk to people around us. John's face is a mental health cage. That's right. Because again, I suspect that John is nothing more than our attempt to deal with the trauma of losing our mother at a young age. And, uh, if we work through our issues, John is you likely always to always take me to the best of places, Sherry. So I'm looking forward to seeing how that works out. Okay, looks like we may be done here. Let's go ask the uh, kindly woman downstairs. What's all this then? Let's get a good what's all this then check. It's like a vibe check, but, uh, you know, a little bit more period appropriate. You're acting so strange today, T. I hope someday you'll let me inside that head of yours. Hey, Nick, good to see you. Yeah, I couldn't resist. I was uh, I was feeling full of energy to that, and everybody here wanted to go to bed a little bit early, so I was like, I just got to jump on and do my thing. Can't change clothes here. 
Okay, so maybe I leave and come back to Sherlock and ask her about the lady? Hope you're doing well tonight, Nick. You too, pickled dog. Anybody else out there? No, you know, me too, Nick. It'll be the last time I question a Grayson game recommendation. Grayson pitched this to me and said, I think you'd really dig it. And it didn't seem like my kind of thing oh, at first. Sherry, that was close. Yeah. But you did everything correctly. Now, take off your outfit. I can't let you walk around in a dead man's clothes. Hey, Gubrella. Welcome in. Good to see you. It has been a really interesting game so far. It is um, surprisingly clever in the way it goes about mystery solving with like connecting clues in your mind palace and all kinds of things like that. And uh, it also has a great sense of humor. It's it's worked out really well so far. Poor chap. That's our imaginary friend, uh, John. I didn't know our imaginary friend smoked. That's uh, That's upsetting. Let's see. You know, I got it on sale slightly. I think it's still on sale through the Epic Game Store with like the coupons and all that sort of stuff right now. But um, I found it really worth it. There's a good big game. It has a nice open world. I really recommend it. You're acting so strange oh. today, dear. I hope someday hmm. you'll let me inside that head of yours. So I wonder to whom I need to show this photo. Just random people staring around. Is this familiar to you? I have a question too. Who looks an idiot in his fancy clothes? It's you. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? Your money doesn't impress me. You obviously haven't thought this all through. Or are you okay. just annoying these people on purpose? So I need to address more like working class Sherlock Holmes. Now... <laughs> Now that I've gone to an alley, stripped naked and redressed. Are you able to help me? You and I are the economic foundation of this island. We should help each other. But I don't know what you are talking about. Oh, this guy wants to unionize. Can you satisfy my curiosity? No, I haven't heard about that. This isn't working. You might need a different tack. May I ask you something? Excuse my ignorance, but I have no idea. Hmm. Well, so far, not much luck. <sighs> Poor chap. Hello, it's me, a different person. You're acting so strange. Perhaps if I took off my my stubble, I hope my someday you'll stubble. let me inside that head of yours. Let's see. Hey, thank you so much, Kill. Maybe we should ask the Hint Skull. Where's the Hint Skull? We need it. Thank you so much for 22 months of support. How is that even possible? That is amazing. Thank you so much. Okay, we'll be fresh-faced. That's probably what we needed. No more floppy hair. Okay. Maybe this is the key. Time flies. You're having a salacious trumpet. The Mind Palace beckons. A case bug. Huh. Really have no idea where I'm supposed to go from here. Sure, like keeps annoying passers by and thus is starting to annoy me. Oh look, that's angry John. Can he ask the right questions? Pardon me, Can I ask you a man. question? I wish I could help you. Are you able to help me? I would help you if I knew more, but perhaps others mm. would be more helpful. This isn't working. You might help need a different tack. What a coincidence. I only learned of this recently myself. Oh. Did I find the right person? Okay. Refugee camp. There we go. Located under Victoria Bridge between Scaladio and Silverton. Okay, well, there you have it. Scaladio and Silverton. Oh, wow, that's far away, y'all. So which bridge is it? Yeah, we'll get there and find out. Let's go here to this fast travel. And we'll make it happen. <laughs> Nick, you're so right. Um, 
you know, aside from the cutscene that we skipped, I don't know how much adult stuff there was in, um, in Phantasmagoria until we got to the final <laughs> chapter and everything went nuts so but so. Yeah, the idea of having, like, you stumble onto one corpse early in the game, and then the final chapter is just, like, nothing but more corpses piling up everywhere was a odd pacing choice, I feel like. I'm so I'm not going to just, just carelessly run into people tonight. That's been my M.O. so far in this game. My modus offensus. Well, maybe that one person. Sorry. She was really hogging the alleyway. In my defense. Okay, so we're looking for the Victoria Bridge. Which one's the Victoria Bridge? Why doesn't this Ding Dang Bridge have a name? Wait, I bet it does, but I just put my thing right there. Thor Bridge? Oh, wow. Iron Bridge. Wait a second. Where's the proper bridge? Pilgrim's Bridge? Rolling Rock Bridge? Okay, let's, uh... Of this. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Ding dang it. Okay, Matt. Let's try this again. Go to the city hall. Oh man, Hot Fuzz is a fantastic Contest movie, for right? The guests of Cordona. Oh. Find hidden treasure. Tell me more, tell me more. Hmm. Eight photographic clues. What's a scavenger hunt? Well, we'll see about that at a later date. You know me, I love a scavenger hunt. I'm trying to decide, like, for the sake of streaming, do I just want to power straight through? and finish story mode, or do at some point I want to pause and get a few of these side quests out of the way. I really can't decide. I do know that there comes a point from what I've read in the guides to the game where you reach the point of no return. Like, the if you continue further, there's no more continuing the game. Teeth and gum sets. Sweet. So I bet this refugee camp is going to be down. Beasts! Oh, Excuse lady. me, just one question. A lady doesn't know about such things. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's all this, then? Murderers! Murders, eh? They're completely livid. First they come to our land, then they murder our people. Draw oh, them into the sea. I'll just explore this situation. Sir, this place is off limits to the public. Please state your business or leave, or I shall request that the police escort you out. I'm from City Hall, I am. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I'm from City Hall. They sent me to oversee the situation. No, you're not. I'm the supervisor <laughs> of the camp, and I'm the one who's handling the current situation on behalf of City Hall. Ronald Harlow at your service. Now, sir, tell me who you really are, or you'll have to explain yourself to the police. I have full authority to request they detain you. Very well, Mr. Harlow. I am a private investigator. I'm looking for a witness on my case. Sherlock Holmes is my real name. A private investigator? Really? Even so, you're not authorized. I can't let you in, so please, step back. I'm sorry. You know, Nick, I couldn't agree more. There is clearly so much effort that's gone into this game. Even the stuff that doesn't completely work, I can't help but admire that they just went all in. Slight mustache. Just up here old. Mm, overdressed wants to look more authoritative. 
Wedding stress. So this person's in over his head, so he's can't stop it. Clean shoes, sedentary. I don't like how they say that like it's a bad thing. What else she got for me? Ah, nose. Works indoors, poor lad. Okay. Ronald Harlow is a depressed young clerk, or a pale young clerk who tries his best to oversee a refugee camp. Does things by the book, lacks the experience to deal with problems outside his writing desk. He's attempting to look older than he is by growing a mustache. He prays to look authoritative. What do we have here? <laughs> yes, I don't want anyone to... To, uh... Analyze me. And yeah, I do wonder how, like, Sherry, like, slowly pans down a body while he's observing somebody. I want to say dazed formalist. Just because that's a great phrase. I hope someone someday calls me a dazed formalist. What about formalist. the murder that this crowd keeps shouting about? It's mere assumption. I assure you that the situation is under the police's control. I know you want to deal with this in the right way. You are obviously a professional and a responsible person, but you clearly have never handled a situation wow. like this before. I wow. am handling it, Mr. Holmes. Don't question my capability here. And tell me how you do it. You can't even calm this gathered crowd, and as for the police, they're not quite managing it either, are they? You consider yourself a problem solver, wow. but until today, you've been solving problems sitting at your desk in a dark corner of a city hall room. What a jerk. Here, you need a more practical approach. What are you driving at, Mr. Holmes? I can help you. I can help you to handle the situation if you're truly interested in solving things quickly and quietly. And how exactly would you manage that? Simply tell the police that I'm with City Hall and I'm permitted to investigate the scene. I'll work out the rest, but in return I hey, need lady. your help finding my witness. She's a young refugee. She's with child or was with child recently. Look, there is indeed a dead body inside the camp. So even if the girl you are looking for is there, all the refugees are now being detained and interrogated by the police. They won't allow you to speak with her, and I can't do anything about that until the situation settles down. So it's in our mutual interest to settle. Mm -hmm. Oh, I suppose that things are bad enough that I ought not shy away from help. All right, Mr. Holmes, I'll tell the police to allow you to come inside. We've Just tell it. me when you're ready. How did the refugees get here? Mr. Harlow, how did the refugees end up here exactly? Oh. So you're not from around here yourself? I've been away for some time, but I read the papers. Yes, this whole story has been in the papers for almost a year now. They were smuggled to Cordona on a ship from Africa. Smuggled? Then why didn't you deport them? The smugglers managed to sneak them to shore and hide them inside an abandoned warehouse. Okay. When the police raided the warehouse and found the refugees there, the ship was already gone. We aren't even certain as to which ship it was. We have busy shipping routes with other colonies these days, you see. So you decided to lock them up under a bridge? There was no other option. No other We're option. still trying to work out what to do with them. I only hope we'll find a humane solution and not put them on a raft and float them out to sea. Mr. Harlow, what exactly do you do here? What are your responsibilities? What I do and what I am responsible for are two different realities, Mr. Holmes. On paper, I am in charge of the camp territory, security, provision, and the refugees in general. What uh -huh. I actually do most of the time is knock on every city hall door trying to obtain some funding, or at least rations for the camp. The police here on this city hall are too. They are, minus those who came here after the body was found. The governor won't let the refugees disperse into the island. This crowd so noise is terrible. So there's a significant police presence guarding the camp. Naturally, they answer directly to the police. I have some influence here, but I'm not their direct authority. Let's go! I'm ready to take a look at the scene. All right. Go inside the camp and find Inspector Chooksbury. He's the officer Ooh, investigating Inspector the Inspector Chooksbury, you say? Tell him I sent you. Say you're an independent expert from City Hall. He'll fill in the details for you. I'll find my way with words. Thank you, Mr. Harlow. <laughs> Harlow gives him, like, a helpful hint on what might make this interaction go well. It's sure like... Nah, nah, I got this. 
So they keep these oh. refugees under a bridge like proverbial trolls. No wonder the people outside are so disturbed. Boy, John's outfit just pays off every time I see it. I'm not sure if we had to pay to get that, but it was worth every penny. If Who you the did. hell are you? How did you get in here? Mr. Ronald Harlow let me in, sir. I'm Sherlock Holmes, a surveyor of refugee affairs with City Hall. I have one sleeve You're rolled Inspector up? Inspector Tewksbury, I presume. A surveyor? What does that even mean? In short, I've been sent to conduct an extensive report on the incident for the Colonial Office, and to assess all the damage inflicted on state property. Got it. Another paper worm sent to count money and get food for archive mold. Go on, look around, but don't make yourself too at home. As if I didn't have enough problems before you appeared. This guy has a real vibe. First, tell me what happened here. What happened? People from Paperworm. the bridge above the camp heard a woman screaming and saw a mass of refugees attacking a man. Clearly not a refugee. When the camp guards came by, the man was floating in the sewage oh. canal with a knife in his chest. Bam. A murder. Are you sure? Big news for Cordona. I'm sure. Thank you, Inspector. Okay. That's a great question, Gabriella. Uh, how's the open world play in? Um, theoretically, you can explore all of Cordona. Cordona, it plays a lot like an Assassin's Creed type game, sort of that kind of open world vibe. Um, where the open world comes in is there are a ton of side quests and like scavenger hunts and those sorts of things that if you want to stray away from the main story, there's all kinds of stuff to do around the city and interesting little hidden nooks and crannies to find, but it's very much open world in like the way that, say... Assassin's Creed 2 was, I would say. And, like, the, the sequels to Assassin's Creed 2, like, Brother... What was it? Brotherhood? There was one other. Uh, very much uh, the Ezio era of Assassin's Creed, if that comparison is familiar at all. And none of the refugees were harmed? One fellow was cut. He's lying over there near their kitchen. No There's hijacking no horses way. yet. You mentioned a woman screaming who attracted the bypasses on the bridge. Hey, was she harmed? No, she's all right, but perhaps the whole debacle started because of her. She started wailing and the refugees stood up for the girl. And where is this young woman now? Back there in the shacks, same as the rest of the refugees. She's been questioned by my men, but she's just some refugee girl. Can't understand much English. I get the feeling the devs did not want to try to code horseback riding because it is, it is um, conspicuously absent from the game. Do you have any suspects yet? You're joking, right? I've got a whole camp full of suspects. And if you ask me, this bloke had it coming. Better bury him and forget about the whole thing. And now there's a crowd gathered at the camp, and my superiors say we must thoroughly interrogate the refugees. At least those who can understand any English. Do you believe that your superiors wish to get rid of the refugees? I think that both our superiors would rather keep the story quiet. Since that's an unaffordable luxury now, they're looking how to protect mm. their mm. public image. Classic. That's why I have to waste my time waiting for my people to turn every stone and befriend every refugee. Well, that'd be terrible. This guy has a beard that's like made up of thick bristles like the kind you only see in razor commercials. Like you imagine like the chic new quadra blade just like lifting and cutting all of those big thick bristles. Like, each one's the size of, like, a piece of pencil lead. Look at it when we go back to the close-up here. It is a serious thick boy beard. Did you learn anything about the dead man? The fellow looks like a thug. I've had dozens like him fished out of the sea over the past 20 years. Ever since these refugees arrived, there have been people on Cordona with bad blood in them. My best bet is that this thug had something against them, too. And no clue as to his identity. He had some items on his body, but nothing to indicate who he was or where he was from. I think I should catalogue his possessions in my records. Go on. They're on the table near the body. It's kind of, I don't know if this happens to anyone else, uh, but uh, occasionally I will grow like a mega beard hair out of a pore that looks like multiple hairs that have somehow like combined into a mega hair. And I'll get like one of those and... Uh, it's deeply upsetting. I think he has a whole beard of mega hairs. Here we go again. Number of hours on Cordona before stumbling upon another dead body. Zero. Yeah. Uh -oh. Clearly a left handprint here. 
Hmm. Is that the first marker? <laughs> Use Sherlock vision. Sherlock vision! Yeah, this game feels like a mixture of an Assassin's Creed game with a little bit of Hitman thrown in for good measure. Uh oh. Small trench in the sand. On the ground. A blood trail leading to or from the canal. Hmm. Curious. Someone bled profusely here. Correct. A fresh crack, as if the crate was hit recently. All right. Classic fresh crack. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh-oh. All kinds of interesting things here. Size 10, barefoot. A man's footprint. A heavy boot with a worn out sole. I too have a damaged sole. Police boots. Always happy to trample evidence. Right, These please. events have fractured into so many pieces. But I know you can collect them all, Sherlock. Okay. Are these the deceased's possessions? A cigarette case, you say. Malpal, soaked with salt water. Ah, our suspect smokes Malpal. One thousand pounds. A fair sum, especially considering British currency isn't very common in Cordona. Hmm. A simple leather sheath. Perfect for a dirk. Perfect for a dirk. You heard the man. It's dirk perfect. That's also going to be my new username when eventually Disney shuts me down for using Jedi in my name. It would be Dirk Perfect. Can I ask you a question? A solid question, sir, but I don't have the answer. Let's see what our casebook has at the moment. Hmm. Does that one mean? That means I need to go somewhere else. I take it. How to play? I'll learn these. Search a location. Okay, so I'm still searching. I'm still searching. That looks like a body. Can I ask you a question? Nothing I can tell you, sir. But others might know more. Doesn't seem like it. Oh, hey, John. Hmm. Three hundred hmm. fingernails. Coal dust under the nails. I don't see much coal around here. <laughs> Dirk Perfect sounds like you're trying to rob the Douglas Adams estate. I mean, it's per it's possible. I just mentioned this on the Discord uh, earlier this afternoon. Um, I've been asked to write something about the uh, Douglas Adams game bureaucracy, uh, the text adventure from Inficom. So at some point I'm gonna to have to stream that as uh, as research uh, for this piece that I'm writing, but I'm pretty excited about that. Never played An it An interesting before. tattoo. Does it mean something? Okay, good, Ricky. Yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, playing. I've played very little in the way of uh, Infocom games. In general, so I'm looking forward to getting a steel dirk, that. sharp, a look, a common accessory among sailors and soldiers. Mm. I'd say the blade penetrated upward. However, the wound is too messy to be certain. You have any lower body clues? Heavy boots, with one sole far more worn than the other. I'll need the this manual. Man Thanks for the hand. John. A violent death. This man, limping. Coal dust. I think we're on to something here, John. Yes, I see the whole picture. I'm just waiting for the chat to catch up. Do you know anything about this? Nothing I can tell you, sir. But others might know more. <laughs> Let's see here. Where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? Okay. Welcome in, everybody, by the way. 
Hope everybody's having a terrific Thursday. I had a very nice Thursday. I went to uh, my favorite Jamaican restaurant for lunch today and had oxtail stew and peas and rice and some amazing collard greens and a pineapple Jamaican soda. It was heaven. Oh, and also had a beef patty. It was a ridiculous lunch, but uh, oh, the collard greens were heavenly. Oh. Love Jamaican food. Oxtail stew. Oh, May I so ask rich. You a solid question, sir, but I don't have the answer. What great Jamaican food and can't make it to Jamaica? West Virginia. <laughs> it's your next best option. <laughs> it's the Jamaica of Appalachia. It's what everybody says. Oh, carnelian agate beads, a traditional hmm. African adornment. Yeah. Uh-oh. What's all this then? He is in shock, feverish, and dehydrated. The cut is deep, potentially serious if not treated immediately. Sherry, you know first aid. Surely you have a duty to help this man. You can't leave him to certain death. The Amigos crew. I don't. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, who is that, Ricky? Ah. Retro streamers. Interesting. You should. Uh, you should drop me. Uh, a link uh, sometime. Either uh, I don't know if you're on the Discord. You can drop it here. I can go back and try to find it. I don't know that. Can you satisfy my curiosity? A solid question, sir, but I don't have the answer. I am from the Hurricane West Virginia area, as we call it here, not Hurricane Hurricane. That's what I need to ask you about. Can I ask you a question? A solid question, sir, but I don't have the answer. Oh, I am bored. Call me when you find the answer. The blood sprayed off the blade after the strike. Hmm, a common stick. No hint of blood or impact. It might have been used as an improvised weapon. <laughs> turlet. You know, I don't know if I've ever heard anyone say turlet non-ironically. Like, I've heard people say turlet, but it's usually for effect. But that doesn't rule out that there aren't people that Someone honestly was say turlet. Against their will. You know what? I'd like to understand. What? How did our dead man end up inside the camp in the first place? That will kill, not save him. The refugees have been detained and will not leave until all the circumstances are clarified. So I guess I'm looking for a cure for this refugee now. Ooh. Are we here? Boiled water, clean. I'll use it to create a solution. Okay. Okay, can I just go back to the wounded refugee now? Now I've got this wounded refugee situation. Ah, uh, something to use as a bandage now. Look <laughs> out, it's chemistry time. Ooh, yeah, actually, I think I can do that. Let me try this. Wah, 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 wah. There it is. <laughs> the, okay, hey, thank you, Nick. Nicely done. We'd love to have you there. We'd love to have everybody there. Drop by and join our Discord. Great place to talk old games and whatnot. And what's all this then? 
I'm looking. Ah! Pants. Or possibly a shirt. Presumably Just wash. Thing. Better than nothing to bandage the wound. Well, now I'm worried. I just assumed that was the most popular streamer in my teeny tiny mountain town. Now, uh, now I'm worried I have competition. Hey, Cobra, welcome in. Howdy, howdy. How's it going? Let me drop a shout out here to uh, Cobra Commander. Everybody, if you aren't already, and I bet a lot of you are, because uh, we raid over there pretty often. Be sure to drop a follow on uh, Cobra Commander. Terrific retro streamer. Absolutely one of my favorite people on the platform. Always a good time. You won't regret it. I'm doing terrific. Having a good day. Just playing this strange Sherlock Holmes game. Okay, now what do I need to do? Okay. What are I obtaining? Oh, wait. Something to disinfect it, you say? Is that the plant? Possibly? No. Oh, we've already looked at these footprints. Someone was dragged against their will. Yes, absolutely. Uh, Nick makes a really good point. We share Discord and a lot of our community uh, with uh, our friend Ben, PS underscore Garrick. A terrific adventure gamer if you've never been over to one of their streams. Just out of this world. You'll love their stuff too. If you like what we do over here, you'll love Adventure Tuesday. Ah. Aha. Allo? Yes! It's Allo, I, I guess. To stop the infection from spreading. I almost played an Allo game earlier this week. What a coincidence. Thank you so much, Rick. Y'all definitely check it out. <laughs> Thank you, man. It involves mystery solving. Maybe a little bit um, less cruel than uh, than Laura Poe. Help me, please. Nothing I can tell you, sir, but others might know more. Captain Al, you gotta love Captain Al. I think we can find all we need here in the camp. Is that not done? It's book. Oh, something disinfected? Let's have a good look around. Did I not get the aloe? I guess I need to pick it. I plated there all the go. ingredients now to prepare the first aid solution. Okay, so this is where we get a fun uh, bit of chemistry. I've yet to try this strange chemistry mini game. Hey, Chris Lachey. <laughs> All right. I'm just gonna say, skip it. Success. Ah, uh, unearned success. There's nothing like it. Welcome in, everybody. Great to see such a good crowd for what's turned out to be a really engaging uh, game. Thank you. This should make you feel better, my friend. Now remain lying down and drink as much water as you can. Well done, Sherry. At least he won't die from the infection. Well, we just saved the guy's life while we were in the middle of solving this murder. How'd the intruder get into the camp? Do you have anything from the mine palace? How did the intruder enter the camp? Back off. Hey. Murder. Wait, what was that? Hmm. Oh, it appears to be some sort of phantasmal boat. Boat? Unlikely. It's unlikely anyone could get in or out of the camp by water without alerting the police guards. It's true, Ricky. You may just die from the uh, poison. Phantasmoria, there it is. Nailed it. Okay. Looking for clues, how this guy got in. Gotta find clues, that's how we solve these mysteries. I hope I'm not making a grave mistake in trusting you, Mr. Holmes. Is that a you pun? know, I have one simple request. 
and that is to have sharks with frickin' laser beams attached to their heads. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Cobra. Nick, I didn't even know I made a dad joke. That's how you know, uh, that's how you know I'm a tr I have true dad essence. That's when you're accidentally making dad jokes. If they find out about the oh. passage, everything will go to hell. Ooh, this is the weird eavesdropping game. I know what the passage is for. Discard. 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 Can't block down. Discard. Public eye. Take refugees out. Okay. Let's eavesdrop again. If you haven't seen this game yet, everyone, it's uh, full of little strange mini games. So this is one where we have to figure out what parts of their discussion are relevant to us. Discard. Discard. Take refugees out. Money. Camp lockdown. Can we piece it together? What's going on at the refugee camp? Worried the situation the dead body will put the camp into strict lockdown. They'll lose the money flow they're earning from Nobody will know anything if you keep your bloody mouth shut. The coppers mm. smell fishy here, Sherry. Perhaps we should sniff around in the camp a little more thoroughly. Jabberwocky, that's a great question. You know, I know that this developer has made a whole bunch of Sherlock Holmes games in the past. I don't know if they're using their own engine. I suspect maybe they are, but it feels a lot like Hitman to me when I play it. Like, there's a lot of Hitman vibes to it. Gone gate. Unopened for a long time. Sealed shut. I doubt our man could get through these grates. Okay. Sherry, just look at this. Living quarters in a sewer. What kind of a genius bureaucrat came up with this idea? Isn't there... Imaginary friend John, amazing. We got like three hours into the game before it told us that he was imaginary. Now, granted, at the time he wasn't dressed up in this ice cream vendor outfit. That was our doing. We have seen some dark places in Cordona, but this. Hey, how did? This talk? Is this familiar to you? Nothing I can tell you, sir. But others might know more. Yeah, his outfit's amazing, and he. He does what I like to call Lutes twinning, which is to say you turn a corner and he's magically appeared in new locations. All of the Lutes twins from Bioshock Infinite. Yeah, okay, I need to figure out how this guy entered. How'd you get in, old Ben? What? As we like to say in Merry Old. Imaginary friend. Oh, hey, Ben. Good to see you. I guess I forgot to update my uh, channel rewards, so we still have the Don't Be Afraid Jess uh, points. So, yeah, that's still, I mean, murder's scary. I mean, I would hate to be murdered. Ooh. It'd be a terrible way to go. Okay, how do you get in? Need to know. Oof, it's still there. Well, this game occasionally manages its own oof, so that one may work. Ah, ladder. That could be uh, the secret. Pardon moi. I need to Sherlock Holmes vision this ladder. Eight feet short. No, it's too short for these walls or cliffs. How the intruder get into the camp? I don't imagine the answer's out here. I guess it could be. We had a lot of fun with Phantasmagoria. You know, as I said on the Discord earlier today, I like Phantasmagoria a lot more than I was expecting. Having never played it before, I think I thought it was going to be just the worst game ever, and it's really not. I mean, it's not great, but it's not terrible. I hope I'm not making a grave mistake in trusting you, Mr. Holmes. Okay, let's figure out how 
this person got in. I think we need this clue to complete the investigation here. Recently, had you still here? Ah. Uh, Your problem, not mine. The guards at the sewers were speaking about taking yes, refugees out of the camp. Do you know anything about this, Inspector? Less than you do, obviously. And this doesn't bother you as an officer of the law? I can neither punish them nor put them on the right track, if that's what you're asking. Look at that fantastic Maybe your friends beard. at City Hall could do something about it, but I seriously doubt that. To be honest, I'm sick and tired of being frowned on for my uniform. If those five oh, police have it so hard on are in some shady business, that's on their heads. I'm busy. Don't you have papers to fill? Huh. City Hall loverheads. Loverheads? How very dare you. How very dare you. Well... Well, no. How did this person get it? I guess it's a true mystery that we'll never figure out. Back off. Back off all this, then. Whoa! Uh-oh! Hey! Welcome, Raiders! Welcome in! Thank you so much for the raid, Chunky Code Monkey. Let me give a little shout-out here. Shout out, Chunky Code Monkey. Hey, welcome in. How was your stream? Retro, what were you playing tonight? Welcome in, Raiders. I'm Jess, Decap Jedi. Normally, I'm a retro adventure streamer. Tonight, I'm playing Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1, which is retro all the way back to the year 2021. But uh, this is uh, this is good stuff. Hey, Ariam. Yeah, if y'all enjoy old Sierra games, LucasArts games, and stuff like that, that's sort of the, the bread and butter of what I do around here. But I like to mix it up a little bit of everything. This game has been really bonkers and fun so far. Glad you could join us. Thank you so much for the raid. Hope it was a good stream. Eternal Darkness. Howdy, howdy, streamers, raiders. Good to see everyone. Oh, there. Who's back in this nook I haven't visited? Maybe he came through that crack. Wow. Oh no, the game doesn't seem to want to give me the necessary you can proceed from here kind of opportunity. At least not yet. We have seen some dark places in Cordona, but this... Uh, I'm gonna go back out front and see if there was anything out there. Or maybe we... Okay, what's the arm thing mean? The class hands. How to play, how to play. John wants to challenge you? Really? How dare him. I should just try to scatter these. Can you satisfy my curiosity? A solid question, sir, but I don't have the answer. Excuse me, just one question. Nothing I can tell you, sir, but others might mm. know more. Oh, I am bored. I know, John. Such a mess. Let's figure it out. Do you know anything about this? Nothing I can tell you, sir, mm. but others might know more. I guess we can talk to everybody about this. Help me, please. Nothing I can tell you, sir, but others might know more. Apparently, others you might obviously know more. haven't thought this all through. Help me, please. A solid question, purpose. sir, but I don't have the answer. Okay. Maybe I should tell the city hall guy out front. Over Excuse there. me, just one question. Nothing I can tell you, sir, but others might know more. Uh. This isn't working. You might need a different tack. Back off. Back off. That guy's just a straight up back off. Anything going on in there, John? No one deserves to end up in a place like this. 
So we're trying to solve a murder at a refugee camp, and we can't quite get the clues together we need to move forward. I hope I'm not making a grave mistake in trusting you, Mr. Holmes. Oh, Vin redeemed and asked Jess anything, and I missed it. Thank you for the reminder. Let's, uh, wow, that's, where was the ask Jess anything? Let's see here. Scrolling back, scrolling back. Last person I'd want to, uh, oh, how was the Among Us birthday party and did you find the imposter? <laughs> My daughter this weekend had her ninth birthday party and it was an Among Us themed party, which mostly meant that we had a bunch of Among Us themed decorations and plates and cups and Among Us uh, stickers that we handed out to everybody and things like that. But at the end, we um, played a game where rather than making one of the kids the imposters, what we did was we had like this giant board that had different colored uh, Among Us characters all over it and we covered it in candy. And the kids got to come through and pick pieces of candy until they selected the piece of candy that was seen on top of, a, uh, of an Among Us character that had already been predetermined to be the imposter in that situation. So they got to keep picking until they picked the wrong one. And uh, that was what we were doing. Oh, thank you, Ben. I've been self-conscious about this, uh, this haircut all day. So I, uh, I appreciate it. They went a little shorter than I normally care for. And my bangs aren't really there anymore. But uh, no, I appreciate it. I literally texted my wife and said, I think I got such a bad haircut, I'm going to have to wear a hat for the next month. And she said, if so, don't bother coming home. It was really a tough text thread. <laughs> Got that summer cut, that's right. <laughs> Thank you, Goober. I appreciate it. I was not fishing for compliments, but I will absolutely 1,000% take them. Okay, we've got to solve this ding dang puzzle, y'all. Oh wait, we got the wrong. Boy, John hates us now because we've been taking too long. Okay. Hmm. How did the intruder get into the camp? Why well, male models I have a couch in Chicago? That's I'm fine with that. You know, I, I get more or less bullied by our pets here, so I appreciate that, Ben. My wife is very understanding. She said I could have this one stream before I had to leave. That announced next week's Retro Adventure Wednesday stream. Yes, we are going to be playing Quest for Glory Four along with our good friend uh, Ben. Let me give Ben a shout out here. Hopefully everyone's already following uh, Ben, but we've been playing together through the uh, Quest for Glory series. Uh, he and the Adventure Tuesday gang have been playing as a thief while I've been playing uh, in tandem as a wizard, and we are both leaping into Quest for Glory 4 starting next week, so I'm really excited about that one. We well, pushed the dodgy officers on their scheme. I tried and... Even with that evidence pinned, it didn't seem to go anywhere. I mean, I'd like to just kind of... Hmm. May I ask you something? Nothing I can tell you, sir, but others might know more. Oh, I'm really psyched for Quest for Glory 2. Well, Quest for Glory 4 also, that is to say. Okay, I might start needing a hint here I don't know if anyone would be willing to uh, look up a guide while I continue to wander around aimlessly but uh, we need some uh, we need some answers we're not figuring out anything about how to fix this camp or how the intruder might have gotten in
Maybe I need to start showing around the photo again. No, it doesn't look like it. Where's Grayson when you need him? Back off. It was Grayson who recommended this game to me, and now he's abandoned me in my hour of need. Usually when I say that, though, Grayson is secretly here and he jumps in with a timely solution, so. Are you able to help me? A solid question, sir, but I don't have the answer. This game definitely needs a hat skull. A solid question, sir, but I don't have the answer. This isn't working. I know, no, I, I know, time. John. I hope I'm not making a great... Hey, thank you, Goldblade Smog. Great name. So glad you could join the crew. Welcome in. I hope I'm not making a great okay, mistake. Okay, that guy's got nothing. You, uh. Who isn't allowed to visit the crime scene these days? Uh. Hmm. What a pleasant man this Mr. Chooksbury is. I'm busy. Don't... Hmm. Do you have papers to fill? <laughs> City Hall loverheads. The gate in the sewers next to the corpse as well as the ladder behind the Tewksbury. Okay, I got both of those. Let's see. Start with the spot at the water where you found the stick. Yeah, so that was where we had the boat. Let's see, finally head toward the exit and interact with the cigarette butts on the ground. Wow. I don't even see cigarette butts. Good to hear. I love playing old games, so glad you could join us. Okay, cigarette butts. Where are those? Boy, that feels like a really tiny thing to have to try to find. Head toward the exit. Hmm. Maybe this exit. Aha. Yes. No, that's a point that we've already looked at. Someone was dragged against their will. Okay. I am not seeing a ding dang thing. Maybe this exit down here? Post a picture of the exit with the cigarette butts on the Discord. Thank you, Chris Lashay. I'm popping over now. Let's see. Oh, wow. Look at that. Okay. Thank you. You're a hero. You're a bona fide stream hero. Let's see now, having seen a picture of where it is, if I can make this happen. Ah. We've done it. A single Malpal butt. Roadman cigarettes. 
a brand highly regarded by law enforcement officers. Roadman. So there wasn't any sophisticated infiltration plan. The good old police just let the man into the camp. Now we have everything we need to get the full picture of what happened at the camp. Uh-oh. I'm bad at these things. Okay, let's go up here and start recreating. All right, here we go. We're gonna lay down on this little bridge and we're going to use our mental powers of deduction with our good friend, the ice cream man. Oh my gosh, this is so many steps. Where are my options here? Wow, I'm never gonna figure this out. Okay, let's try it though. Okay, freshly broken crate. It's like a chase. They're both heading that way, right? do we have <laughs> this is the weirdest West Side story this is even stranger than Spielberg's Even trying, oh, no. concentrate. Okay, so I guess we should review our clues. All right, case book, front entrance. Okay, let's go back to this. Or okay, dead body was found. Here's body was lying in the sewage canal. May have been stabbed in the chest. Bloody handprint near the stones suggests that the man tried to grab hold of it while falling into the canal. So that is uh, falling into the canal with your hand out. So I like that one. What are my other options, though? Okay, so it's definitely that. We're good on that one. Okay, case book. A trail of blood leads to the wooden bridge over the sewage canal. By the bridge, there are footprints caused by friction. Okay, so... Does that mean dragging? Probably? Or am I in the wrong place? their case book again. Okay. Choose by bloody handprint near the stone. Trail of blood drops on the ground. Lead to a wooden bridge over the sewer canal. Let's see here. What's my other option on this one? I mean, he was stabbed, right? And then maybe sh thrown in at some point he has to be stabbed because he had a dirk wound okay footprints caused by friction suggest that there was a scuffle here oh that looks more like a do -si do that ok 
Okay. You're not even trying, Sherry. Concentrate. Which of those scenes looks like somebody being dragged? Great question. Not that one so much. There we go. You're not even trying, Sherry. Okay, we got this. We're going to investigate the heck out of this. You're not even trying, Sherry. Concentrate. Okay, case bug. The shacks on the far side of the camp there are evident tracks since some have been dragged forcefully. A straight blood splash on the ground looks as if sprayed down from a blade. A stick beside it may be an improvised blunt weapon. You're not even trying, Sherry. Do I even try? I mean, that's really the question. Okay, so I feel pretty good about that one. Maybe this is where I'm wrong. This is You're not even trying, Sherry. I Concentrate. Know. I know. Ah, we so did it! we have a thug who came to take a refugee woman with him. She resisted, Woo! but he dragged her by force. One of the refugees stood in his way, armed with a stick. Yet he could do nothing against a cutthroat with a blade. The man didn't anticipate that the other refugees would intervene and stand against him. In the confusion, the woman managed to break free. The thug took fright and fled. He was stopped by the falling crates. He stumbled and fell, piercing his chest with his own blade. What a dummy. However, the wound didn't cause instant death. He managed to stand, but still bleeding, he lost his balance on the bridge and fell. Before all of this, the Way man freely yourself. entered the camp through the main entrance. The police admitted him after they had a short smoke together. All right. You live by the sword, you die by the sword. In our man's case, it's the same sword. <laughs> Let's get our man, pals. The thug came to the camp and to kidnap a woman. He had the opportunity to kill her, but that wasn't his goal. Crime saw. Put another one in the books, Watson. A henchman, not merely a thief. Ooh. Perhaps he works for Moriarty. Whoa. John. You still here? I am, I am. Don't bother someone else with this, son. Don't bother someone else with this, son. Your problem, not mine. Your problem, not mine. Your problem, not mine. Mm, seems like that might be my problem, not his. Inspector, okay. I believe I can aid your investigation. I solved it in my mind, the palace. Dead man is, and what really happened here. You do? Well, good for you. But I'm afraid I'm not the one you need to share your findings with. Speak to Mr. Harlow here. He's the one responsible for settling things in the camp. You don't even care to listen? Oh, I do care. And maybe even <laughs> more than I need to. But I'm only here today to lock the place up, question witnesses, and file the facts. Just file the Sad, facts, ma'am. Coming up with conclusions is not among my tasks here. You fellows at City Hall do that. I'm anyway, not that speak kind to of the call. supervisor. I'll just stand by and listen to what you have to say. Thank you. Mr. Harlow, your refugees didn't murder anyone. What? Pray tell me what you've learned. All right, listen carefully. This might solve one problem for you, but will create a few more. We're going to show him how we do oh, it downtown, Ben. Don't worry. The man worry. came to the camp intending to kidnap one of your refugees, a woman. What he didn't expect was that the refugees would stand up to protect the woman. A brawl had broken out. In the chaos of it, the man stumbled over mm -hmm. those crates and mm -hmm. fell on his own blade. How do you know he fell on his own blade? I imagine The wound it. in his chest was inflicted from an unusual angle. It was not an offensive stab, shall we say. The refugees didn't touch him. And judging by the blood at the scene, the intruder managed to raise himself but was unable to walk very far. 
he ultimately fell into the canal. But how did he sneak into the camp? Why didn't the police see him? And this is where your new problems emerge, Mr. Harlow. What uh -huh. do you mean? You're not a dull-witted man. You know what I mean. <laughs> there is no feasible way to get into the camp without the police guards knowing of it. <sighs> the pile of mess I had to sort out has just become bigger. But somehow that doesn't surprise me. Anyway, I thank you for your help, Mr. Holmes. I'll take it from here. Meanwhile, I'll make sure the police aren't detaining the refugees any longer. You can go back in and look for your witness. Wow. Do you think one small clock can make any difference in this place? Who knows, John? Just one ill-fitting cog could make the whole machine crumble. So we did it. We figured it out. Now we can get back to our case from so, so long ago. Let's see here. Options. How to play. Inquire with the people around you. So let's work a little bit on this case. On what's going on at the refugee camp. Can you satisfy my curiosity? They often take us from the camps to work. Mm. Most don't mind though. It's the only way we get a glimpse of freedom. Wow. The girl was abused after she was supposedly taken to such work. Ooh. So there's a smuggling ring in the camp. This wasn't the first time that someone freely entered the camp to take a refugee out. At least it was certainly his last time. My gut tells me that we'll learn more about this ring when we find out where the thug came from. I owe you a lot, Mr. Holmes. Yes, you do. You're disturbing a hornet's nest here, son. Okay, let's pin some different evidence. So the way you decide like what you're working on at any given moment is this pinning evidence mechanic if this is your first time seeing the game. Um, and it mostly works. Are you able to help me? Sorry. We don't see much here. Can I ask you a question? Sorry. We don't see much here. Mm, time this... to check your who, what, and what, Sherry. Who are you asking about what and dressed as what? You're the one who tended to our man's wounds. Yes. I thank you greatly. The police didn't allow us to help him. The police will leave you alone now. I've proven to them that the man who came into the camp <laughs> died due to his own foolishness. The cause of death. For standing foolishness. But nobody would help us without a reason. You're here because you want something. Yes, I do. I need to speak with the girl drawn here. Mm. The dead man came for her too. Mm -hmm. He wanted to take the girl away, but we won't allow her to be hot again. What do you want from Nayla? Nayla. She was hurt some time ago. I'm here to find the people who did this and bring them to justice. And to find them, I need Nayla's help. Will you let me speak to her? Justice. There's no justice on this land. But you helped us, so maybe your words are not empty. You can speak to Nayla, if she wants it. But I will be watching you. All right. Well, I would have never found those cigarette butts. Thank you so much, Chris Lache. <laughs> the game hasn't been quite that tricky with evidence in the past. My name is Sherlock. I know someone hurt you. I am here to help. I'm trying to find the people involved and bring them to justice, please. There is a photograph, and I'm sorry. It is terrible, but I simply must ask. Where did this happen? What can you tell me about these people? Christ, Sherlock. Nayla, I'm... I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm not... I'm not very good at this. You come here for me, but you are rude and cruel and condescending. He has been. A cross. The man had this cross. Now go away. Leave us be. I do not need another white man's help. Fair enough. Oh, glad that wasn't me. Not my best work, John. By a long shot. Nayla doesn't want his meddling. I'm starting to wonder what this all achieves. But she helped you anyway. Now we know that maniac's face and the terrible events are behind that canvas, Sherry. Okay.
Okay. Sketch of the abuser. Okay. Ah, so we should ask about the tattoo. Let's do that. At least some of your kind have a hat. Thank you again. Oh, can never talk to that person because I can't step up a ledge. May I ask you something? Sorry, we don't see much here. John Drew warns at Talife. That's classic John. Are you able to help me? A solid question, sir, but I don't have the answer. I mean, the. I just want to make sure that the. I talked to the case participant. You obviously haven't thought this all through. Or are you the just world is these case participant, man. I owe you a lot, Mr. Holmes. Well, these dingleberries. You still here? The intruder has ah, here a we peculiar go. tattoo on his neck two lines and a point. Do you know anything about it? You really want to know, kid? Why? You want to play a policeman or something? Yes. I'm sure you have it in your records, so it won't hurt if I have it in mine. In my records, it's just a tattoo, as it should be in yours. Ah, to hell with you. Suit yourself <laughs> as to what you're going to do with it. Off the record, though, such tattoos are often connected oh, wow. to a man named Mr. Niccolo Bernadotti. Bernadotti, you say? Bernadotti. A respectable businessman in Scaladio. His company imports goods and wines and smuggles everything that can be smuggled between the colonies and the mainland. His people can be identified by an obscure tattoo. Just mm. like the one over there, our Some in the import-export But these are all eh? merely rumors, you see. If Mr. Bernadotti was a criminal, he'd be in prison now. Or hanged, right? He evidence collected. Me all evidence, all evidence. Oh, there it is. That is the sweetest thing that happens in this game. Where you're told all evidence. We've successfully completed it. Whew. Okay. I guess now I need to look this guy up in the archives. Is that the next step? Research in the archives. Perfect. Okay, so no more clues there. Sketch of the abuser. Okay, so both of those are archive situations. Can we fast travel from here? Or if this is a city hall situation? No, we can't fast travel from here. Maybe when we walk right over here we can. We <laughs> Sherlock running upstairs. What a goober. What a goober this Sherlock Holmes is. Hope everyone's having a good evening. So glad you joined me for this ridiculous game. I've become addicted to it. It's made me want to go back and play some of this developer's other Sherlock Holmes games. I think the others don't have nearly the scope of this one, but I kind of like their take on mystery solving. Let's see. Subject. Businesses. Scaldino. Aha! Main Get to the abuser. Ah, we found this person. Ooh. 
position as a military commissioner in India. A British envoy in Cordona with his own cabinet in City Hall. What a lovely man this Bernadotti is, eh, Sherry? Can't wait until we get to meet him. Look, Don Holmes, as they say. Okay, now we have important information in our casebook. I'm curious, how did Mycroft recruit you? Uh-oh. I doubt you're a field agent. I imagine you work with intelligence. That's correct. Your brother noticed me when I tracked down a spy at the archives. That's how mm, our counterintelligence, eh? And you? Did Mycroft force you into this? Not at all. We simply have a mutual interest in someone. Or something. Of course. A fruitful and willing collaboration, I'm sure. Well, I'm his younger brother. I have to accept the consequences of being a close relative of an official figure. I suppose, in a way, we are colleagues, Mr. Holmes. In the remotest way possible, Miss Oni. Okay. So for this one, it says top of the case participant. Who's that going to be? Maybe I go here next? We have a good lead. I cropped your crop. We all crop for the highest crop. We all crop for Lara crop. Um, Southeastern Scaladio, Bizarre Road near Roman Road. Scaladio, Bizarre Road. And Roman Road. Okay. There we go. Now let's see if we can get there. This is how I leave. I guess this is my closest travel point. So we will just go southward. We've got this. This case is about to fall into our hands. Hey, Super Gamer Mark, good to see you too. Welcome, man. Glad you could be here for a little bit of Sherlock Holmesening. Love that Holmes. Trying all the doors. How's the day night cycle in this game work? I am not sure yet. It feels like oftentimes when you leave an important building, it just cycles to the next Can I ask you a question? time of day. A solid question, sir, but I don't have the answer. But I'm not entirely sure. Are you able to help me? A solid question, sir, but I don't have the answer. You obviously haven't thought this all through. Or you just... Okay, I'm in the wrong place. Could Wing be part of the problem. This could be one of those classic you need to be in the right place puzzles that games like so much. Hey, take care, Kill. Thanks for dropping in. Have a good evening. Why can't doors you can go in glow or something? Ah, here we go. We did it. It seems they're not expecting guests. I won't wait for an invitation, John. Well, that's what's Is mean. this familiar to you? Oh, I'm sorry, but that... Hey, good to see you, Kevin. Okay, Casey Book.
front door Should is locked, we should find another way in. Maybe a back door. Mayhaps a window? Hello, hello. This feels like a I can eavesdrop situation. Maybe? These workers don't look like your average core donor folk. They're refugees from the camp. Hmm. Wow, John. You go talk to that beef. I'll sneak up from behind and take him out. <laughs> hey, yo. This is private property. You lost something. I, I have. <laughs> I love John so much. Look at him just perched there. I'm here to discuss business with Mr. Bernadotti. I tried the front door, but... Mr. Bernadotti isn't seeing anyone. You have three seconds to walk away or you'll never walk again. Capito? It's in Mr. Bernadotti's best interest to... One. Ooh, good luck on your uh, promotion. Listen, the man Bernadotti sent to... Cho. <laughs> did try to resolve this peacefully. Well, there you have it. We solved the puzzle. <laughs> Very Holmesian. Uh oh, is this a bandit hideout? Oh no. I'm coming for you. Uh oh. Ow. Okay, get arrested. Too simple. Who else is here? Who else is here? Oh, what are you gonna do without a hat? I'm coming. No more crime for you until next month. No more crime for you is such a good line. Hope you weren't planning on doing crimes. Uh -oh. Suspect is hatless. Repeat. Suspect is hatless. Take a rip. The snuff's ready. I need to remember how to use my snuff. I've completely forgotten that. Snuff box. X. That's a good key for it. No more crime for you until next month. There we go. Don't cry, you'll live. Don't cry, you'll live. Sorry about your hat, sir. Sherlock's non-lethal gunplay is pretty good. No more. Give him the pepper snuff. Boy, he's got arm pads on. I'd shoot those off first. Uh-oh. This is arm pad. Oh no, he's immune to that as long as his arm pad's on. Oh no, now he's got space blinders. There we go. Too simple. The snuff's ready. Snuff's ready if you are. And we get the uh, Hattie McGee Bond. over here. Don't bother moving. Give him the pepper snuff. Don't tell me what to do. Oh no. Oh no. Get away. X. Okay. I'm coming. No more crime for you until next month. That's such a good line. You can overcome the brute now.
Okay, I gotta stun this guy. Oh, that's not a way to do it. Take this! I will not take this. Sorry. Uh-oh. You can lure him over by this valve. Or by this light. This will be my secret. There we go. Too simple. More? No, that's all the goons? Is that a goon success? New entry in Sean's diary. No matter how tough the enemies, we found a way to defeat them with no loss of life. We are the perfect team indeed. We're just perfect, y'all. What can I say? <laughs> you have a in shade, you have a dodge roll? What was the, what was the game gonna tell me that? Oh my goodness. You've disappointed me so much, Sherlock. What? What's that all about? Huh. That's weird. What are we looking for? What are you buying? Sherry, look! This seems familiar. Oh, wow. No, sir. Don't hurt me. It's all right. I won't harm you. Like you didn't harm the folks on the way here. Is he... I didn't hurt... I didn't kill anyone. An amazing piece of culture. I imagine many collectors and museums would be interested in having it. I did their ridiculous combat approach. Like a good boy. Artifacts. A Dogon statue from West Africa. A century old, at least. Well, Sherlock's got that one's number. All right. Ceremonial masks. masks. Traditional for the Chokwe people of Central Africa. VH Grindley Flow Blue Tableware. This is what lies behind the facade of Bernadotti Company Limited. Oh, they're caught my bludgeoning of the guard to kill. The fact that I swung first. Oh. Wow, John. Lighten up. Lighten up, Francis. Let's see what's hidden there. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh gosh, this guy. <gasps> Vogel's stolen painting. Isn't it curious how it developed into a much more interesting case? With <laughs> some people dead. Bossy. Do you want oh. any closer? One step and I'll stretch it to pieces. No one will find your body. I'll break you. Go ahead. Have we gotten renegade? Make my day. Righto. Yes. Yep. Well, uh, excuse me, sir. I uh, I think I hear Dirty Sherry. It's it Dirty Sherry. Whoa. Oh, wow. That was as if somebody put my words in your mouth. Is there anything else in here? Dirty Sherry. Leave like a big dummy. It's a Kickstarter backer piece. Boy, it does have that vibe, Gooberella. Oh, wow. That was 10 times as good as my average dad joke. Thank you for the bits, Nick. That's high praise indeed. It does, I think. I bet these are either somehow backward. I don't think this is kickstart. So that means these must be devs, Vogel's right? stolen painting. Isn't it curious how it developed into a much more interesting case?
Prisoner is still there, let's see. Not interactive now. What have we here? Zeppelin related? Hmm, <laughs> that's the best kind of front page. <laughs> My keen analysis tells me that, uh, that's a Zeppelin related newspaper. What do you this do? This is it. This is where all the magic happens. Oh, counting. I'll work my way over that guy slowly. I suppose it's Mr. Bernard Dotty with our fine governor. 1875. It's taken a few years back. John, how many people in Cordona have a photograph with the governor, do you think? You definitely don't have one. Please don't shoot me. I have a family. Look, I shot a few people, but all in a non-lethal way. A lot of paperwork. TBH. Expensive paper. Invitation to ball. Oh, this guy's... This guy's a high roller, I think. There's the door to Zales. The Bernadotti Company Limited Trade Network reaches. This is the an important guy. Is I think what we're. It must be very convenient for oh. a man like Bernadotti. Wow, what's the best vacation I've ever had, and why? Super gamer Mark, that is a really good question. Um, you know. One standout is uh, probably my honeymoon. Uh, my wife and I went to, we started out in San Francisco and spent a few days uh, touring around the city. It was both of our time, first times being there. And we really enjoyed San Francisco. And then we wrapped out the honeymoon in Yosemite National Park, uh, which meant not only do you get to see the beautiful sights of Yosemite, but also I was able to uh, sneak off and uh, go visit Sierra Online Headquarters uh, in Oakhurst, California, which is right there on the edge of the park. So I got to visit the old uh, Sierra building that's depicted at the end of Space Quest Three when Roger shows up and uh, tries to get Ken Williams to hire him. Um, so that was a really good vacation. Plus it was my honeymoon, so that made kind of amazing. Um, ooh, probably my next biggest one would be a few years after that uh, when uh, my wife won uh, all expenses paid trip to Hawaii. We went to uh, the island of Kauai for a week. Um, she won it in a uh, con <laughs> kind of a contest. It was like a can you come up with a interesting animal dermatological case and present it to this pharmaceutical company for like a new application of their drug and she worked up a case and, and wrote up a report for it and her report was chosen to get us a uh, surprise free trip to Hawaii. And it was gorgeous and beautiful. Uh, the island of Kauai is still my happiest place on earth. So I'd say those are my two strongest contenders. And vacationing for free is better than paying for it, it turns out. I'd be, I'd love to hear other people's favorite vacations in the, uh, in the chat. Spare me. I spare Stand. no one. So, you've cut through all the guards just to talk to me. <laughs> and come here, and we shall talk. John's wonderful. Photograph of a little girl. Relative? Hopefully. Whenever you're ready. I'd hate to intrude. Absorb. And welcome in, everybody, by the way. So glad that people are watching a lot of these Sherlock uh, streams. I wasn't sure people would be into this game, but it is so bonkers and lovely. I'm glad to share it with everyone. Gang tattoo. Seeing John, yeah, and seeing John just chilling in rooms does never get old. It is a good gag that always pays off. Holster pistol, cold-blooded. Hardened hands doesn't shun dirty work. Hmm, let me take a look down here. 
pants slightly too short. Wedding ring, married. I like to imagine that Sherlock is also like sniffing and stuff as he rotates around these people. Like, Ooh, damaged skin, eh? Ruthless crime lord. Calculating mastermind. Ooh. I feel like this is a calculated mastermind rather than a ruthless crime lord. I'm going to say calculated mastermind. Niccolo Bernadotti, I presume? The name is Sherlock Holmes, and I'm afraid I bring bad tidings. Is that so? The man you sent to the refugee camp failed in his task. He impaled himself on his own blade. Clumsy and chaotic end. For like a, a man who just broke onto my property, you are more businessman than brute. You have my attention, Mr. Holmes. Do not waste it. Hmm. Mr. Bernadotti, do you know the name Boniface Mercurio? I do not. Mercurio was a local artist. Oh yeah, that guy. Recently, a man broke into his apartment, ransacked the place, and killed him. The thief was looking for something. You are testing my patience, boy. In a moment, the connection will reveal itself. <laughs> I was hired, privately, to investigate the privately. recent theft of a painting from an art gallery. My investigation led me to a man from your organization, and thus, to you, Mr. Bernadotti. That is quite a stretch. Why would I need to steal a painting when I could buy any one I wanted? Interestingly enough, I spotted the stolen painting <laughs> in your storeroom. I buy and sell a lot of things, Mr. Holmes. Unfortunately, if this is true, it is not the first time I have been sold stolen merchandise. Hmm. I presume you were hired by the owner of the gallery. Tell them to contact me, and we'll sort out the situation. So, situation. this painting is why you broke into my office. As I said, your man was found dead in the refugee camp. He was there to kidnap a woman, but the other refugees intervened to try like and save her. I like these camera angles. Look at this. The ensuing scuffle Cinematic. resulted in the man's accidental suicide. He sported the same tattoo as your men in this building. In fact, John also bears in the a resemblance to the one on your neck. Care to explain what business your man had with this woman? You have no idea what you are talking about. I can assure you this was no kidnapping. The refugees in the camp are on edge. What happened there is a tragic accident, one I am not responsible for. For what reason was your man there if not to abduct her? Why would I answer? You are yet <laughs> to justify your presence in the slightest. Fair so enough. many words, so little action. When you barged into my office, Mr. Holmes, I got the impression you wanted to talk business. Now I see you had come just to talk. Tell me exactly what you want, or get out. Get out! necessary groundwork for what comes next. I have enough evidence to conclude that the gallery thief, the artist's killer, and the dead man in the camp mm -hmm. are all the same person. Your time is almost up, Mr. Holmes. Before you draw your gun, there is one final detail I am yet to mention. The young woman your man was tasked to collect from the refugee camp had been defiled at a perverse masquerade party. That one way to put it. was captured in a photograph by Boniface Mercurio and used as a reference for his painting. The photo shows the attacker's face. Finally. That's why you're here, Mr. Holmes. You have the photograph. It is what your man was after when he broke into Mercurio's apartment, and it is what you're after too, isn't it, Mr. Bernadotti? You have the photograph with you. How much do you want mm. for it? Sir, I am not naive money. enough to carry it with me, but I am yet to decide what I shall do with it. I know the man in the photo is a British envoy. What interest do you have in his downfall? I must admit, I am rather impressed by how comprehensively you have <laughs> pursued this matter. Me too, honestly. And so, you deserve the honest answer. My business dealings are often arduous in their bureaucracy. A man in his position, willing to look the other way, could ease my work significantly. In return, I will make sure no one looks his way either. A favor for a favor. A favor for a favor. Also known as blackmail, the modus operandi of any true <laughs> professional. 
It was not originally my idea. Mercurio set things in motion, extorting the envoy for the most trivial of ends. Money. Mm -hmm. In response, the envoy hired my man to retrieve the painting and the photograph, <coughs> eliminating Mercurio's leverage. I only learned the whole story after the artist was killed in his home. And rather than extricate yourself, instead you took over Mercurio's venture. It fell into my lap. <laughs> As a businessman, I simply seized the opportunity. Now, how much do you want for the image? Hmm. Why did you send your man to remove the woman from the camp? Without a photograph, her testimony was the next best thing. Securing her was in everyone's interest. Victims and witnesses all too often disappear. I thought the girl was cipher with us. I did not anticipate what would happen at the camp. Anticipate, hey? I saw refugees from the camp at your warehouse. They work for you. I have made certain arrangements with City oh, no. Hall and the police. Thanks to me, refugees can work and be paid. It's a pathway to freedom. And how much do you save by capitalizing on their cheap labor? I have heard no complaints. They Walk seem happy says to make a to get out of game slum. now. Hmm. I could not help but appreciate the collection of smuggled artifacts in your storeroom. You have rather diversified your business. Oh, how high and mighty of you, Mr. Holmes. <laughs> not all smuggling no. is immoral. I pay generous rates to developing cultures and spread their culture to eager buyers. Mm. And furthermore, I supply many immigrants with a taste of home. A very convenient way of thinking. I have traveled wildly, Mr. Holmes. Wildly. I've seen people in far-flung lands for whom my services are a lifeline. Without them, they would starve. The tax on cargo is often so absurd that it would be more profitable to simply sink your ship than dock it in the harbor. Yeah, how can we send this guy to jail? I'm speaking from experience. With all the good he's doing. Why should I give you the photograph? Just name your price. What Justice. if my price were not money? You claim to have connections, Mr. Bernadotti. Perhaps you could improve conditions for the refugees. <laughs> yeah, this guy's a Hobby a Lobby CEO. A better life. <laughs> I do hey, have Robin, connections, that's very Mr. Good. Holmes, but help the whole camp. You are asking too much. I could, however, make arrangements for one person. No. The woman who was violated will have her own home outside the camp, solely for her and her child. She will no longer be a refugee, but a princess. That I can guarantee. Is that really possible? It will be neither fast nor easy, but I can do it. She deserves it, don't you agree? And as for mm. her abuser, he will serve me as much as he deserves. So in your plan, everybody will be given their due. Especially you, Mr. Bernadotti. Seems like a fair deal, no? Mm. I doubt anyone could offer you better. Oh, Simply no. give me the photograph, and the world becomes a better place. I give you my word. What makes you think you can decide what's best for these people? Okay, save. Such is the arrogance of British imperialism. I take your point. Good point. Sherry, don't you think this office suits me? Man Palace. Gather proof the envoy's crimes are to blackmail him. Okay. Birdetti wants to blackmail the envoy. The envoy is despicable and Birdetti is trying to take advantage of the situation. I cannot trust either of them. Only the truth will resolve matters. I must give the photograph to Vogel so he can make everything public. Birdetti is a shady businessman, but has promised to arrange a happy life for Nyla. Okay. In Shady says we might want to visit one more person.
So we probably want to go find the envoy. Is that right? Is that who we want to go see? The front door's now open, sir. You can leave through it. If you want, of course. I haven't quite figured out how to find the envoy. Or the envoy. The envoy or the envoy, honestly. I tried looking around City Hall earlier. It feels like that's the only clue to his location that I have. City Hall, a place the location of which I definitely still remember. Me? Have you found anything helpful? No. Ah. <laughs> Do you think this is where he might be? Do you think this is a clue? Hmm. We're looking for a Thomas Norton, who's a British envoy. Could this be uh, some sort of uh, environmental clue that we found? Go into Sherlock Vision. No, it doesn't look like it's a clue. Sorry. Let's see. Wow, look at that. About a painting. If you're here on matters of signing up for military service, come back tomorrow. Our department needs to. Ooh, he's got bristly beard too. out some business. Absorb. Facial hair. No time to shave. Didn't sleep last night. I didn't sleep at all last night. Well worn, never removed. Order a bath. Red stain, wide? Type buttocks. Crumpled clothes stays at work late. Envoy looks quite worn. Ooh, is he in remorse? Observe that ass. This is if he lives in a nightmare. I'm gonna say he's in remorse. Why not? Why are you staring at me like I'm a Madame Tussauds figure? Tussauds. Didn't you hear what I just said? Madame you Tussauds. You for what you did. Won't be any good unless you confess to me, so I'll try to be polite. What sort of did are we talking about? Are you from the press? I'm here because of Naylor. Who? You don't remember her name. Lad, if you won't tell me where you came, I'll call for someone here to sort you out, if you get my meaning. Do you recognize this man? Hmm. We definitely <laughs> look alike. But you have the wrong person. Really? Then you won't mind if I pass this along to the newspaper? All right. All right. Is this about money, as you said in the letter? What kind of sum are we talking about? Mm, letter, right? I've never written a single word to you. Bribery, not my style. Bribery, so, not my style. that letter, it wasn't from you. Well, it appears that more and more people in the city are finding out about your despicable hobby, doesn't it? <laughs> You're in the clutches of justice, and very soon they will squeeze you. You're in the clutches it's of in justice. in your best interest to cooperate. Fine. I suppose now we have a nice long talk. Do you drink, Mr... Sherlock Holmes. And I do not. Shame. All the best discussions are accompanied by a glass of whiskey. But out <laughs> of respect for you, I won't drink either. Respect? That's an unusual word in your mouth, Mr. Where are my manners? My name is Thomas Norton, a British envoy in Cordona on a military mission. Yes. So, where do we start? What happened so, at that party? So, let's return to the beginning. What happened at the party? I vaguely remember that night. As usual at such parties, you meet people, you talk with them, they invite you to spend some time alone with them, 
Typical what party. Say? I got myself mixed up with the wrong company, and somebody must have mixed some psychoactive substance in my drink. After that, it's all blurry. I completely lost my sanity. I made a terrible mistake which I regret deeply. You don't say? Do refugee girls often appear on the menu at those types of parties? It's rather rare. So you didn't attend the party to engage in an exotic experience involving a vulnerable woman unable to accuse you of assault? I would never have planned such a terrible thing. What happened was just bad circumstance. A few years ago, I had a Halloween party at my house. Like, I just think of, like, his description of how parties work. And uh, it was mostly fellow professors from my university. And um, at one point, a couple of party guests disappeared. And I didn't realize this. One of them uh, was dressed as uh, sort of a fairy. And the other, I think, was dressed as a fisherman. And later, I noticed that the fisherman uh, was covered completely in the glitter that the fairy had been wearing earlier um and being no sherlock holmes myself i immediately asked him it's like why are you covered in glitter what's up with that you shouldn't have glitter all over you um not piecing together that he and this other party goer disappearing together for uh you know 15 or 20 minutes and him reappearing covered in glitter could possibly be connected in any way like in my mind palace that line was never drawn together. And what's worse is I think literally everyone else at the party had figured it out and didn't realize I was sincerely asking. That's how naive I am. Uh, the idea of like, going upstairs at a party with someone else is so foreign to me that, uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was completely beyond me. <laughs> I need John slipping me clues. I am no detective. I am absolutely no detective. Why, why are you covered in glitter? How does how do these human relationships work? How could you have kissed her? You two aren't even married. You mentioned blackmail. Tell me about it. All right. A couple of days ago, I received an anonymous letter. <laughs> it said that in the art gallery at Caravansary, there exists a painting that incriminates me. The black there was an incriminating clear, painting of me. If there is a painting, then a photograph exists too. And I should be wary of what it might do to my reputation. What does the blackmailer want from you? Money, of course. What else do such people want? No. Needless to say, I don't remember anyone taking photographs at the party. Up until the last moment, I hoped he was bluffing. But he wasn't, as you've just proven to me. Show me the letter. I burned it as soon as I read it. I've left enough evidence. There's no need for any more. Boniface Mercurio, does the name mean anything to you? He's an artist, right? The one responsible for mm -hmm. the painting that compromises you. I found mm -hmm. him dead in his room. Oh, that is bad. Wait, you don't think that I have anything to do with this? You had motive to kill him. Maybe I did, but listen. I know how this looks, but murder? That's on another level. I had thoughts that this Mercutio... Leveled up my Mercurio. murder. Well, him, yes. I thought he could have been the blackmailer. But I was too afraid to make any hasty decisions. There were plenty of ways to fail by making a move, so I chose to wait. To see what he would do next. You have to believe me. I don't believe people. I believe evidence. Yeah. Then look at the evidence. Yeah. The painting that depicted you in the image of the devil was stolen by a mercenary. I could go for some morale right now. Do you have right anything now. to do with it? I might be a rotten person, sir, but hiring criminals for illicit purposes <laughs> is not in my daily schedule. And buying the painting in an attempt to hide the crime, is that on your daily schedule? What would you do in my situation? I would never put myself in such a situation. Hey, yeah, Thangal. Yeah, glitter yeah. evidence is beyond me. Position. Yet, here I am in front of you. We all make mistakes, Mr. Holmes, and I'm no exception. Mr. Holmes, I've built my entire career on hard work and uncompromising dedication to the crown. I made a mistake, but I'm not a villain from some cheap adventure fiction. By putting me behind bars, you will benefit precisely no one. Except Lady Rotting Justice. Rotting in prison is the least you deserve, but I have a better idea. You will make amends and help the ones you hurt. 
Ooh. Let's see, if I have him help the refugees, can I then have the other guy help uh, Nayla and everyone gets helped? Is that the thing? Do I help the refugees? Use your connections to help patriate the refugees. Find them decent homes. Give them jobs. There must be a meaning to your position and my decision. Yes. All right. I can do that. Aha. So, will you give me the photograph now? That's not all. Oh. Nayla deserves the very utmost of what you can do. Help the girl. I can't risk the press paying extra attention to her. I will do anything except He'll do that. anything for love, but he won't through. do that. Don't do anything foolish in the meantime. Okay. What makes you think you can decide what's best for these people? Come on, it's not like we've got anything better to do. Boy, why does John hate me now? Okay, so I have to decide whether to help Nayla. I guess Nayla will benefit if all of the refugees benefit. It makes it my imaginary thing. I think we say the smaller evil for the greater good, right? Or do I need to go back now to the other guy again? Should I return to... Should I return to the crime boss guy? Or is this it? Have I reached the end? Have you found anything helpful? I think we're ready to solve this case. Yeah, I don't think I want to pick one of his endings. I think I like this version where everyone gets helped. Smaller evil for the greater good. I'm going with it. I'm picking my side. All right. Now do I go to him? Tell him the good Have news. Have thought it all through? Give him the photograph. Almost. The refugees, what will happen to them? Well, I wouldn't be standing here in this fancy office if I didn't know how to pull the right string. We did it! In fact, it's the only thing I know. The local governor will receive a decree signed by the House of Lords containing wow. a request to patriate the refugees in the name of the Crown. House of Lords, From where though. did you gain such influence? I never asked you how you found the photograph, so don't ask the magician how he performs his tricks. <laughs> but how can I believe you? Ugh, I presume you do believe in my selfishness. <laughs> the initiator of the refugee salvation will be none other than the British envoy, saviour and protector of those in need. Hmm. It's a win situation for me too. Now, what about the photograph? You deserve to be punished, but the greater good is what matters here. I won't bargain it for justice for Nayla. I'm glad that this situation is over. It will be over when you settle the matter of the refugees. Yeah. You have my word, Mr. Holmes. We did it. Voice of the people completed. All right. Why is that not case complete? Oh, I have to go back to Vogel, of course. Mr. Holmes, you've returned. Have you uncovered anything new about the theft? Oh, wow. I've brought news, but not all of it will please you. Fill me in, Mr. Holmes. I won't shoot the messenger. Yeah, finally, fast travel, huh? I located the thief, but found him rather cold. He was tight-lipped about the painting, too. Huh, he's dead. How very droll, Mr. Holmes. Warren presumes you were not responsible. It was an accident at the refugee camp. He impaled himself on his own knife. Life is nothing if not cruel and capricious. True. I tracked down Boniface Mercurio, 
I presume he wasn't delighted about the situation. He was not having a good day on account of his murder. Oh, I'm Sherlock. Flat by the same person that stole his painting. Oh, sweet Mercurio. Perishing in the pursuit of his art. How apt. I will miss his line, sense of humor. What about the stolen painting? Have you located it? I found the painting, but I could not retrieve it. Well, then, where is it? In Bernadotti's office. Bernadotti? That shady businessman? Why would he steal it from me? It's I'm a very complicated story. Hmm. I take it you found something more, then. What happened to your crusade of truth? Was it not that important, after all? No truth will satisfy you, Mr. Vogel. It was not an attack, Mr. Holmes. Wow. If you've chosen not to tell me, I respect your intention. But it is just rather boring, isn't it? It is what it is. Well, mm. now that we've resolved all of our outstanding matters, I have a gift for you. I took the liberty of having it delivered to Stonewood Manor. Uh, yeah. I am told it belonged to your mother. What is it? And what exactly have you sent me? Frankly, I'm not sure how to answer that. I trust you'll know. Yeah, Ricky, this guy's great, right? Previously, you mentioned there may have been more to my mother's passing than consumption. It appears you were right. Oh, dear. I'd hoped to be wrong. She was unstable, mentally unwell. She required sustained specialized treatment, but her madness persisted. I knew that Violet had disappeared from the public eye, but had no idea of Are those our fingers or his? I cannot imagine what you're feeling. Is Vogel I'm touching fine. our face? Thank you, Mr. Vogel. I am curious to see what Were you have to Were those Sherlock's do. fingers? I need to know. Wow. We completed that elaborate, elaborate case. Dang, I can't believe it. Wow. That was quite an adventure. You know, after the elephant murder, this got a little bit more serious. But, uh, yeah, this was, uh, this is impressive. This game does good stuff. All right. Got lost in my palace. All right. Well, I think that's a good note to end on for tonight. So let's call it quits there and see what we can do. Thank you all so much for joining me again. You know, I never know when I play something that, you know, isn't a retro game or a Sierra LucasArts uh, classic. You know, people are going to be into what I'm doing with it. And I really appreciate y'all hanging out and chatting with me and being part of the stream. I'm having a good time with this game. We're going to finish it out. I'm uh, I'm too deep now to uh, stop. But we need to launch a raid. And I just noticed that uh, Tawi, uh, Tawi, who's one of my favorite streamers, uh, we've raided there a few times, is playing Grim Fandango tonight. Uh, so thanks again for watching along. Let's raid over there and see how Grim Fandango is going. But for now, thanks again for joining me, everyone. I will see you on the other side of the raid. And I think I'll be back tomorrow night with some sort of street, maybe more Sherlock. It may be something different, but I hope you'll join me again then. Take care, everybody.